this is my second time making this world because I forgot to unmute my mic audio the first time. YouTube Hardcore Season 1 or 2. Fuck. First Street Boys, let's go! Should I make my base in the mountain? I'll probably die if I make my base in the mountains. What could be in here? I bet my not life there's an enchanted apple. There's not an enchanted apple, but actually I will take a silk, two silk touch picks and an efficiency five gold shovel. And honestly, if I go into a mine shaft, a paint of arthropod sword is also useful. And that's a bed. I'm actually off to a really good start, not even kidding. I want to get more progress done in this episode than I would have in the last episode, just because I don't want this series to feel too slow-paced at the start. Oh, you were- you were trying to get the- you were trying to jump me. I see what you were doing. Whoa! Okay, I saw what he was doing and he still almost killed me. Oh, you're not going to do that though, sir. You're going to die. Hey, man. I need the stuff that comes out of your ass. Ass stuff acquired. I'm gonna make my base here. That's just too fucking cool to not do something with. Look, it's got a view of all the nothing. Okay, yeah, I'm not doing that. Uh, why the fuck did I think it was a good idea to come up here? I'm building it in the plains. Ah, I need a flat biome. I need a flat. I need flatness to be secure. Is that a safe jump? That's a safe jump. Oh God. Imagine if I lost the world on day one again. <laughs> okay, bro. What the fuck? How have I not died? I kind of want to live in this cave, but also, I'm almost certain I would get impaled on a stalagmite. Uh, so I'm not going to do that. I will go down here just to collect the iron, though. Ow. Also, I said earlier that, I'm probably, that I want to build a base here, but I'd probably get impaled. Uh, I probably will do something with this cave later. Uh, just not right now, because at the moment, if I fall, I just die. No totems, no feather falling. It's just over. And that would be Unpoggers. I'm not sure if my home is over there, or if I already passed it. I'm kind of second-guessing myself on whether or not I should use villagers for this world, because although I do think they're very interesting and they are a good way to get early game started, uh, they're also, like, annoying as fuck. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Get out. Run, 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 run. Okay, that could have been the world already. That would not have been very, very poggers. Ooh, a desert. I could actually have, like, some good loot. A village! Oh, let's go! For the feel of my last video, this might be a little bit, uh, off. But I... I'm only really doing this because I found a cheap editing soft or not a cheap editing software, a free editing software, and I had Minecraft. I want to stream, that's like my ideal form of content, but to be honest, 
my internet is like so shitty like i'm currently uploading a video and i've been uploading it for like an hour and it's 38 percent and it's not even a gigabyte like especially my upload speed is so terrible that i just really cannot stream and at least have it be like any bit rate at all Oh, a buried treasure map. I got a little blue pixel in the corner. All right, the, the treasure chest is back here. So I got to go a thousand blocks to go all the way back to the village, and then I got to go all the way back to my base from there, which is like another couple hundred blocks. Uh, oh, by the way, if you're watching this, should I switch to... Uh, like 70 FOV or like 90 FOV or keep it at Quake Pro. I play on Quake Pro, but I, I don't know like how many people really find it a little off that I play with Quake, Quake Pro. And the fact that it's surrounded by jungle and desert. Okay. That would have been a sharp fall. Alright, I just almost fell down again. I'm a great Minecraft. All right, you're getting kidnapped. I hope you like the dark. My eyes hurt. You know, I might build the villagers actual huts and stuff, and it would also actually be pretty interesting to like have villagers and stuff in my kingdom and actually living full iron baby i probably should have saved some of the wheat i got for cows i'm probably gonna prioritize getting a totem more soon than not because like whereas if i die in a single player world it doesn't really matter but if I die on YouTube, I will forever be ashamed by having to increase the season number by one. Oh, no. I want to damage you. You're actually important. I view villagers less as, like, even as mobs and more like objects. I'm sort of a villager objectifier. I'm probably going to be mostly replanting jungle trees for wood. First, because they don't create pods all everywhere. And second, because I don't have spruce. Even though I think spruce does give slightly more wood, I'm not really going to go adventuring for like 10% more wood per tree. Especially when it's like not that much harder to just plant more jungle trees if I need more wood. Is this enough boats? I think this is enough boats. Yeah, that's enough. Alright, I have a few boats. And now I'm just gonna place them all around here. Oh, you motherfucker. You piece of shit. Come on, boys, get to breeding. Y'all gotta get submissive and breedable for me. Uh, that sounded far worse than I meant it to. And it already sounded pretty damn bad from the beginning. Where did I get three poisonous potatoes? I'll eat them all. Oh, I can't eat them all and I didn't get poisoned. Wait, did they make a baby? They did! Where'd he go, though? Oh, he's in here. Oh, no! Oh, 
don't lie, man. Alright, I'm starting to think this isn't the best idea. Alright, I've improved the villager breeding center. So now it should be a little easier for the babies to be captured without the adults suffocating and dying. I'm just going to do a bit of parkour to get up here. That will weed out the zombies and maybe me because I suck at parkour. Alright. Alright, I've captured the child. Woo. Wow. Alright, I need some iron. Uh, oh, there it is. I was gonna say, I need some iron, some iron, for a blast furnace. Uh, so I can get an armor, which, if you aren't aware, will sell me diamond armor, and also iron armor if I need it. Oh, this cave is a bit expansive. Oh, he actually grew up. I think, like, leveling up blacksmiths before you get the iron trade can be kind of a bitch. I'm probably going to try and make an iron farm at uh, zero, 0 or around there, because that is probably where I spawn, or where my spawn chunks are. Because in 1.18, I don't know if it's just me noticing this now. It could have been changed earlier, or nothing could have changed, and I've just happened to get close response to 0-0. Zero, zero. But I think after 1.18, generally, your, your world spawn is closer to 0-0. Zero, zero. Wait, have they bred again, and there's just a baby villager loose? How long has this this baby villager been a baby? Like, like, bro, you gotta grow up at some point. Grow up, child. <laughs> what? I am not. What? Oh my god. That is such perfect timing. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, that's actually great. Grow up, child. <laughs> what? I am not. <laughs> what? Oh my god. <laughs> that is such perfect timing. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, that's actually great. <laughs> <laughs> 